Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Mal and I am the owner and maker of Made by Manny and Mal. In today's Tumblr tutorial, we are going to be making a very simple, cute, colorful leopard print and striped tumbler. We're going to use two sheets of vinyl from Banff Custom Creations along with a perfect peachy olive glitter color. Now this is a really good technique if you are a beginner and you're just kind of getting into maybe vinyl wrapping or working with semi-transparent vinyl. This is a really easy technique and I hope that it helps you if you're a beginner and you're a little bit intimidated by vinyl. If you're a more expert tumbler maker, hopefully this will inspire you for some new designs. As always, I'll have a full supply list down below in the description box for you. I'll also have links to all of my social media pages, my Facebook group, and my exclusive mentorship group, MBMM Elite. So be sure to check all of that stuff out as well. You know, I'll also have some discount codes down there for you too. If you enjoy this tutorial, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's go. Okay, jumping right in, we are starting with a 20 ounce skinny straight tumbler from Craft Haven. We have painted this white, so we are ready to go in with our glitter application. I'm gonna use the epoxy method to apply my glitter today. So I'm going to apply about like three to four, maybe five milliliters of epoxy to my tumbler. I am going to be using a chunkier glitter, so I'm applying a little bit more epoxy than you typically would with the epoxy method. The glitter we're using is Basic White Girl from Peachy Olive Glitters. And we're gonna go in with just full solid coverage using this one glitter by itself. Once I've got my tumbler fully coated in glitter, I'm gonna go in with my gloved hand and just tap down any of the pieces of glitter that might be sticking up, any of those little pokey bits. I wanna tap those off or pat them down so that they're lying as flat as possible. This is gonna make things a whole lot easier for us down the road when we go to add our coats of epoxy. Once everything is patted down, I'm going to let my cup sit and dry for about three hours and then I'm going to seal my glitter. I like to seal with a 50-50 mix of the Crystalac glitter glue and regular tap water. I'm going to let that dry for a full two hours and then I added two coats of epoxy to my tumbler. After two coats of epoxy, my cup was smooth and shiny and ready for vinyl. If your cup is not totally smooth and shiny, you can do all of your sanding and then go in and add another coat of epoxy to your cup and then you should be ready to add your semi-transparent vinyl. When you're working with clear vinyl, semi-transparent, whatever, it's really important that you work on a shiny, smooth surface. If you do any of your sanding before you go in and add your transparent vinyl and you put your clear vinyl over those sanding spots, they will not shine back up with a coat of epoxy on top of them. You'll just see all of that dull sanded ugliness that's underneath it um, and you don't want that. So be sure that your cup is smooth and shiny. So we're gonna start with our striped pattern. Now both of these sheets are from Banff Custom Creations and they are color coordinated with each other so they're gonna match perfectly as far as color goes. So we're starting with the stripes. I'm gonna cut these so that they sit vertically on our tumbler. I wanted to get the full like range of colors as the vinyl wrapped around the cup. So I'm just gonna trim this down. I think I made this a three inch tall section. And I'm gonna place this right in the center of my tumbler. Now my 20 ounce skinny tumbler is about eight inches tall. So I'm gonna measure two and a half inches down from the top of my tumbler, mark that with a Sharpie, and that's where I'm gonna start my middle section so that we have two and a half inches on the top and two and a half inches on the bottom and everything is placed even and all of my sections are size the appropriate amount. So to help me place this straight, I'm gonna use my line tool from the Amy's Make Everything. Now they didn't have a hole in the tool where my dot was, so I drew a line a little bit above it. You can see my dot down below and then the line I drew. And I'm just gonna use some little painter's tape here to fill that space in and still give me a straight line to work off of to make sure that I place these vertical stripes straight and that they don't look all, you know, wonky and weird. I'm going to use some rubbing alcohol to get rid of those Sharpie lines that I use to draw my lines, clean that up a little bit, and then we'll go in and apply our vinyl. 
I'm going to start by laying this down like kind of in the middle of the sheet or the strip of vinyl and I'm just going to place this make sure that everything is lined up as straight as possible when you're working with vinyl like this that has kind of more precise lines you really want to take the extra time to make sure that everything is placed correctly the last thing you want on a tumbler that has stripes or plaid or anything is for your pattern to just look wonky or messed up so take the extra time here make sure that everything is as straight as you can get it and then you can apply the vinyl to your tumbler so once everything is placed correctly for me i'm going to secure one end of the vinyl down with some painters tape wrap it around again to double check and make sure that everything is placed right and then i'm going to remove a little bit of the backing from my vinyl and smooth it onto my tumbler using my felt edged squeegee tool Once I get to the side of my tumbler where the seams are going to meet, I'm going to cut off the excess vinyl. Now I decided to have two stripes kind of butt up against each other. I felt like that would look the best versus like having the stripes overlap or having any other solution. So I cut off that little stripe of brown and then I laid the rest of the vinyl down. You can see that the teal and the pink stripe are kind of best friends they're really close to each other and i'm going to cut off the excess vinyl and now our stripes are placed down on the cup i'm going to remove that piece of painters tape from the top and now we're going to go in and add our leopard sections i cut this leopard sheet down into two smaller little strips and i'm going to continue to cut these down until they fit in those two sections on the top and the bottom of our tumbler one thing i'm really paying attention to is cutting away all of the like partially cut leopard spots. I will have a few spots that are cut off once they're on the tumbler, but I really want to minimize those. I want all of these spots for the most part to be like whole and complete leopard spots. I don't want any harsh seams or anything around the cup, if that makes sense. So I'm going to cut these down and place them kind of in little sections because with this sheet, those spots are not placed in perfectly like horizontal stripes. They're kind of scattered and a little bit more random. So I'm trying to get this to wrap as straight as I can around the cup, but I ended up kind of applying a little strip, cutting the excess off, and then going back and kind of re centering or realigning, applying that little strip just to make sure that everything was applied straight and we didn't have any overlap with the spots on top of the stripe section in the middle. Once I had the large section of leopard spots laid down, I went back in and I cut out from my excess that I had trimmed off as I went. I cut out each individual leopard spot and I placed those by hand just to fill in as much of this space as I could and make it kind of look like it was all one piece to begin with. So I'm going to do that on the top and as you can see there, if I go over the top rim, I'm just going to cut off the excess fill that in and then I'm going to go down to the bottom section of the tumbler and I'm going to do the exact same thing just trying to fill in as much of that bottom space as I can. I'm going to kind of speed through the bottom half of the tumbler. It really is the exact same process. The only thing that's a little different is working with the very bottom of the cup. So when I got to the bottom and I had that overhang, I cut each leopard spot out kind of individually. I like sliced it so that I could either pull it over the edge or just cut it off completely. I did with the individual leopard spots, I did place those all around the bottom of the cup so that the leopard pattern flows all the way from the like bottom section of the cup down onto the very bottom. Hopefully that makes sense.
After all of my leopard spots were laid down, I took two strips of champagne gold textured metallic vinyl from Tech Wrap Craft, and I'm gonna lay those in the two sections, like on top and on the bottom of the stripe section, just to kind of finish them out, make them look a little bit more polished and complete. Once I've got those placed, I'm gonna seal all of my vinyl with a coat of polycrylic. And once that's dry, I'm gonna add my final two coats of epoxy. So here is the final tumbler design. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you. And if you're a beginner, I hope it helps you in using semi-transparent vinyl and creating some really fun stuff. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, love you. Bye. We are going to be making, what are we doing today? We are going to, what are we doing? <laughs> Hello friends. Friends. Wow. Great.